Hello. Welcome to the month of October. Now, the month of October is a great month. I'm so excited. Why am I excited? Because the Lord has spoken to me concerning the month of October. And what did he say? The Lord said, it is a month of remembrance. Praise God. A month of remembrance. Hey, think about it. God is saying, I'm going to remember you in the month of October. What's he going to remember? Now, let me share the scripture the Lord gave to me. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 42. Leviticus 26 and 40, verse 42. Verse 42, then, says the Lord, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, my covenant with Isaac, and my covenant with Abraham, I will remember. And I will remember the land. Praise God. Hey, God is saying he's going to remember his covenant. See, no, no wonder David said, you know, he, he said, be mindful always of his covenant why because god doesn't forget what he has promised god doesn't forget any agreement he has entered into now sometimes we do good and and god gives a promise because of the good that we did now that's like a covenant see so because god tells you do this for me and you do it and god said because you have done this i will surely bless you that's a covenant he has caught with you see you don't have to always have that ceremony of, you know, okay, um, stand here, stand there. Let me make this pledge. Now that's, you know, you know, that's like the description of what a covenant is. But every promise God promises is a covenant he's entering into with you. So hear me. In this month of October, you are going to be seeing some kinds of surprises. When I mean surprises, things you were not expecting will just show up suddenly. You know why? Because God is remembering his blessings and his promises to you. Some of you promises he's made for many years. You will see the manifestation or you will begin to see the manifestation in this month of October. And then, no, while I was asking the Lord concerning our nation, now I was not even asking the Lord concerning our nation. I, I just heard the Lord say, hey, in the month of October, remember your nation. So I'm like, okay. I was meditating on you. Okay, Lord, yeah. Okay, so what do you want us to do? Do you want us to pray for the nation? Do you want us to take any special fast? You know, and the Lord says, no, 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 no. And he referred me to Genesis chapter 21. Let me read it to you now. Genesis chapter 21 and verse 1. It says, And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. What is the Lord saying? He says, I see that word, he says, and the Lord visited Sarah. He's also like saying, ah, and the Lord remembered Sarah. You understand that, right? So the Lord is saying, I will remember your nation and the words that I have spoken concerning her. Hey, guess what? God is visiting our nation. Now we, we, we mark our independence, and by the way, happy independence, so to every Nigerian. We are marking our independence today and God is speaking these words concerning our nation. So he knows and he understands our timing. So God is visiting our nation. That's what he said in the He said, I will remember the land. So God is remembering the land of our nation, Nigeria. And the things he has spoken of, he will remember them. Not just remember them to mind, but he is acting on them and we will see the manifestation. Praise God. Isn't that something to be excited about? Now, now some people say, look, I've given up concern. And I've met some people say, look, I don't even pray for Nigeria again because our case looks like something that is out of this world. Hey, God may be silenced, but he is not sleeping. He is planned everything he wants for our nation and he will fulfill all his plans and purposes for our nation. So get excited. This is not a hope that will be dashed. This is the Lord giving us his word that he will remember us as a nation and he will do to us as he has said. When did he speak? Now those of us that have been waiting on the Lord concerning our nation, carrying the burdens of our nation in our hearts, we know what the Lord has been saying to us concerning our nation. Nigeria, there is good 
coming for you. Praise God. Before we pray, I want to read that scripture again in Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 42. He says, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob and my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham. I will remember and I will remember the land. Praise God. Anything that I've been lacking, you have been waiting for this miracle for so long. And, and some of you, you have also forgotten about it. You know, you just get to that point where you say, well, well, if God wants to do it, he will do it. If God doesn't want to do it, then I won't stress myself anymore. Yeah, because you, you waited for so long because you thought you had God. The Lord is saying, I will remember. Praise God. So get ready for an explosive kind of miracles. Can we pray now? I want to pray with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we believe your word and we hold fast to it. And you said in this month of October, you will remember us as a people. You will remember us as a nation. Thank you, Father. And now I pray, Lord, even this first week of October, you will give us a sign indeed that you have remembered us. And let the miracles begin to work. Let line be upon line, precept be upon precept, as you have proposed and planned, that your will and every purpose you have in your heart will be fulfilled in our lives and fulfilled in our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, angels are walking for our sake this month. They are working on our behalf this month and they are working for us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Manifestations everywhere. And we receive all these things that you have spoken, Lord, and we give you all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. This thing is going to be a good month. Now I invite you to join us every day, Monday to Friday. I'm going to be giving you God's word. As long as God is speaking, you will be hearing from us. Praise God. And I invite you to join the lunch hour prayer meeting also with us. Every 12 noon, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Then on Thursday, join us at our, at our fellowship meeting by 6 p.m. And also I invite you to, right now, the 24-hour prayer meeting is ongoing. So, so find the next watch and just click on the Zoom link and join that prayer meeting. God will richly bless you. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. And I'll, I'll ask you for this. Help us share God's message. Help us share our messages whenever we send them out. That's how you show partnership with us. And thank you. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the prayers. Listen, the Spirit of God is doing greater things in your life. And you will see it. Have the best month ever. And have a great weekend. God bless you. Bye.